the owners or the home buyers in india um, they are uh, not very aware of uh, do's and not do's and don'ts of their property yeah, yeah. it's something that typically once the property is there with them uh, they hardly take care of go back and see that whether all the documents are in uh, line or not whether the filing is proper or not hello and welcome back to ask housing Today we're in the Mumbai office of Knight Frank India in conversation with Pradeep Kanthi who's the head of valuation services. Pradeep thank you so much for being on our show. I'm Jumur Ghosh editor in chief housing.com news and we'll be talking to Pradeep about a rather new concept that's coming into the real estate market one of home exchanges and the role that valuations play in putting a home exchange program and to make it a success. Pradeep we don't really hear much about home exchange programs so to just set some context to why we are having this conversation today so bangalore based purvankara limited they have come up with a home exchange initiative where the idea is that if you are a current home owner and you would like to sell that house and buy a purvankara home then they are going to provide you as part of this initiative what they are calling resale assistance so that includes coming to the right valuation for your home home just you know getting brokerage assistance etc so pradeep we don't really hear of home exchanges we've heard of it in the context of cars uh, gadgets furniture etc but not really in terms of homes as a as a real estate professional why do you think that is i think these are the new concepts which are coming up in the market now to to provide good services to the customers to get hold of the yeah. customers yeah to expand their market share yeah so i guess this is the new concept probably which they have come up with okay so i think we are heading back in a way towards the barta system that's yes. how it all started earlier yeah so yes but i think uh, uh, all in all i feel probably personally i feel that it's good yeah because uh, uh, developers are coming into the buyers yeah. buyers are also exposed to the new markets to the yeah. new techniques of uh, marketing and uh, exposure yeah. to better properties yeah. so probably yes uh, a new concept is coming up let's see how it how it works how it evolves true so you know one of the uh, key aspects that i noticed about the home exchange uh, initiative so valuation is obviously playing like a major role in it so what has been your experience <coughs> like when a home owner is trying to sell his home during the resale process what is the part that he struggles with the most is it arriving at the right valuation uh, closing the deal is it a combination of everything what's your take uh yes it's a it's it's a combination of the entire thing right from a thought process to sell it and ultimately to to transact and get the money back also yeah. you know the transaction the money is worth yeah. so it's a bit complex process and yeah. most probably the the yeah one of the critical part is yes. arriving at a value absolutely because that's the point at which the buyer and seller would merge come together their thoughts would come and and, and both is a danger if you undervalue it and it's if a you loss. overvalue yes. yeah yes yeah. so yeah it has to be within a bracket within a range yeah. uh which typically we call it as a market value yes uh so there would be plus from the devil, from the sellers and seller would probably would ask more than what uh, probably is prevailing in the market yeah, because yeah. it's his prized property he would yeah. like to get more yeah. at the same time buyer would like to probably get the property at the lowest of the price right yeah. but now ultimately there is a negotiation there is a there is a midpoint where yeah. buyer seller would thoughts would come converge and then yeah. they will do the transaction yeah. and probably that defines uh, really the market value of a property yeah. uh, of course uh, nobody has to be under compulsion yeah uh, both buyer and seller are aware of the market market yeah. conditions yeah. so in a free market they are doing a deal yeah. and if at in this process if they arrive at a midpoint yeah. then probably that's the right transaction price we can see yeah. of course the problems are not it all arises from here okay uh, seller will, will have his own expectations yeah. buyer will have his own expectations yeah. typically in india we see again that real estate market is not very transparent yes it's it's opaque yeah. uh, things are changing now yeah. uh, but still long way to go yeah uh, so typically uh, 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 the buyer and seller will not have uh, access to the data yeah to analyze at least that 
uh, what is the worth of their property. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, you're a valuation expert and we are all lay people as far as, you know, valuation is concerned. So just for the benefit of our audience, could you explain what exactly is valuation? How does it work? What are the parameters that experts such as yourselves use to arrive at that valuation? So uh, valuation is, is typically a systematic process. It involves mm -hmm. both art as well as science okay. uh, to arrive at a value of a property. Okay. Here we'll talk about property. That's yeah. being the main subject. Yeah. Uh, so it's a systematic process to arrive at a value of a property, basically to express the cost benefit analysis okay. uh, in terms of money or monetary worth. Okay. So typically that's the process. Now, uh, it's, a, it's a process starting from uh, investigating the title of the property, all yeah. the property documents. Yeah. Yeah. Probably, yeah, the owners or the home buyers in India, um, they are um, not very aware of uh, do's and not, do's and don'ts of their property. Yeah. Yeah. It's something that typically once the property is there with them, uh, they hardly take care of go back and see that whether yeah. all the documents are in uh, line or not, whether yeah. the filing is proper or sure. not. Sure. Uh, secondly, the upkeep of the yes. property. It's uh, probably we see that uh, we hardly pay attention towards that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, none of individuals, individual owners or probably even in the condominiums, we don't see that we, we uh, keep the property intact, yeah, yeah. regular maintenance, yeah. especially it is avoided in the single individual yeah, yeah. buyer's yeah. case. Uh, probably we don't even take hardly insurance, hardly there would be any individual buyers would be taking the insurance of the property. Yeah. See, ultimately what we are valuing yeah. is, is the right and interest of a owner in that property. Yeah. Yeah. And end of the day, the rights and interests are going to be exchanged. Yes. They are going to be passed on to the new yes. buyer, yeah. uh, to the new uh, owner of that property. Sure. So, uh, it's very critical to establish the right rights and interests. Okay. Uh, lawful rights and interests, yes. yeah. whether it is ownership right, whether it is a leasehold right, whether yeah. it's a license right, yeah. full rights or part rights. Yeah. Uh, so critical point is rights and uh, interests okay. arousing, arising out of that property. Okay. Then probably we come to the uh, technical aspect of the yeah. property, yeah. like uh, uh, what's the, here probably being a residential property if we talk yeah. then. Yeah. Uh, that what is the size of the property, yes. uh, what are the amenities available in that yeah. property, yeah. how old is that property, yeah. layout of the property, yeah. amenities yeah. we spoke. So uh, th these are typically the physical aspects of the yeah. property. Yeah. So that needs to be captured again during yeah. the process. Yeah. Uh, so then we come to the uh, the, the, the legal, uh, the market aspects of yeah. the property, economical aspects like yeah. Uh, how are the market supply and demands analysis? So yeah. what are the pricing going on of such type of properties? Yeah. Yeah. What are the land price or yeah. what are the apartment price? Yeah. Uh, which takes into, con into consideration your location, amenities of the property, type yeah. of property. Yeah. So, uh, and then finally also because here buyers and probably, you know, individuals are involved mm. using the property for their self consumption, yeah. Yeah. your social aspects are also involved yeah. in that, you know, was to, yeah. Um, then probably uh, say uh, the the segment of the property it's a luxury you know they are they are in the staying in a luxury uh, or a upscale market yeah. or in a mid market, mid -market yeah. uh, and all sorts of other social environment comes yeah. into the picture. Yeah. So in nutshell, we can say that valuation uh, takes care of uh, or any property value yeah. is dependent on legal aspects technical aspects, aspects, economical aspects, yeah. and the social aspects. Yeah. So all these four aspects typically are touched upon on each and every valuation with each and every property. Yeah. Uh, we spoke uh, to summarize like um, uh, economical aspects are the market side, yeah. demand and supply of the property. Yeah. What are the pricing prevailing yeah. in the market? Yeah. Uh, your f uh, legal aspects concerned with uh, property ownerships. Yeah. Uh, rights of rights and rights and interest in that property technique um, your your uh, uh, typically technical aspects are the aspects related to the property itself yeah, yeah. physical look and uh, feel of the property layout yeah. you know age uh, age and uh, uh, future life of the property yeah, yeah. and social aspects are, are we, we generally speak about yeah. 
typically they are not completely expressed in terms of monetary but yeah. they are silently playing in minds of buyer seller both and they seem to be increasing in the uh, importance uh, you know as far as the buyer scheme of things are concerned Absolutely. they are laying more importance on social amenities for yes, sure yes so. because they are the new people in that locality in that proper property yeah, yeah. so they will you know they will eventually give more uh, uh, weightage to the social yeah. aspects also yeah so uh, uh, and a valuer will touch upon all these aspects. Yeah, but you know, as a as a lay person, as a home buyer, and this is you know, and not just the <coughs> home exchange part of it. We've seen a lot of buyers, you know, uh, homeowners struggle with that. So, is there uh, any advice or tips you can give to us that how do we know that I seem to have arrived at a fair valuation of my property that I wish to sell, or that's a fair uh, valuation of the property that I wish to buy? Is there any way we can arrive at that? Uh, see, um, typically um, they should be aware of the market. So yes. either they analyze the entire market on their own. Okay. They are well aware that what are the pricing, you know, what are the typical price of their property yeah. Yeah. in the market, in the surroundings. Yeah. Uh, say, for example, if we talk of the apartments, you know, yeah. then they would they should be aware that, okay, um, you know, what are the dwellings typically yeah. are, are uh, selling in that locality yeah, yeah. in that building yeah. of similar type of uh, yeah. amenities yeah. Uh, so probably uh, the ways to find out while the problem comes here that yeah. when we talk about the transparency and the opaqueness yeah. Yeah. probably seller buyer as a layman will not have access to all this data that what is the price and what is the last sale which has happened in sure. this locality sure. uh, so there probably they can and that's where the valuers role comes yeah. into the play yeah. Yeah. so uh, Typically, we would advise uh, that they should, when they are taking a decision which which involves their heart and money, yeah, you know, yeah. uh, be it from the buyer side or from the seller side, they should approach to a legal uh, to the to the qualified valuers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they know how to value the property depending yeah. upon the specific purpose. Yeah. So the valuation typically uh, a valuer would give them the complete feel of what is happening in the yeah. market. Yeah. Typically, what all recent transactions have happened. Yeah. Uh, or some some other transactions which are likely to happen in the market they would have access to exactly. those data yeah. they are into the field yeah. so on that basis then they can compare that those properties which have transacted with their property yeah. at least it will give you the uh, third party uh, view of yeah. the property yeah. which Typically, buyer and seller. So both. yeah, you've touched upon an interesting point. The third party view, you know, because if I'm the owner or I'm trying to buy it, I'm also very emotionally invested in it. So the objectivity can yes. sometimes be an issue. So uh, uh, a third person's view would be unbiased. View yeah. would be he would be valuing the property or arriving at a value only from the purpose yeah. of you know benefits, uh, say from the third party's angle of, yeah. uh, and uh, would be completely unbiased opinion okay. on the merit and demerit of the property and okay. the markets okay. so i think that is essential and that will give a good idea to buyer as well as seller yes. uh, that they should be negotiating within yeah. which what range yeah. of course then it all depends internally between the individuals that yeah. how they close the deal and what yes. are their specific yeah. requirements yeah. but at least they will know the range that within the range what you know within what range should they negotiate so typically, it could be say ten percent or fifteen yeah, percent of yeah, range yeah. within which they can. So at least nobody is off, yeah. and the deal, end of the day, the deal happens. True. Uh, in this in this entire process, buyer will also have the advantage. Yeah. He will yeah. get to know the property. He would yeah. he would be able to buy the property which yeah. he likes it, and yeah. at the same time, seller would also have the maximum which he can get yes. by selling that property because then he's not going to use that property. He only is deprived of using that property, and in turn, that terms. You would like the maximum money. Yeah. So Pradeep, for my last question, I'm going to sort of circle back to the whole uh, home exchange concept. So as a real estate professional, uh, do you think that in principle, you know, does this concept at least have the potential to be a market disruptor that maybe if we, you know, if we have more successful home exchange initiatives, that is actually a good thing for the uh, developer, the market and the home buyer? I believe yes, uh, it should definitely work well. It's an innovative concept which yeah. has come up uh, yeah. at least in in this part of the country, yeah. or in, in in India. Yeah. Uh, uh, the best part is that uh, yes, uh, the the overall uh, 
system would get more and more transparent. Yeah. Yeah. You have uh, uh, stakeholders who are uh, legitimate stakeholders yeah. involved yeah. in this entire process. Yeah. Yeah. They have some standing in the market. Yeah. So uh, things would become more transparent. Yeah. At the same time, if uh, uh, I won't say disruptor, but at least it would be good for everybody, yes. good for the economy also as well, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that uh, uh, a constant uh, recycling of the properties Absolutely. would would kick Very start. Right. The entire process would probably uh, will will uh, fasten. Exactly. Speed exped yeah. the entire process would be expedited. Yes. And uh, quick decisions would happen. Yes. And at the same time, if this works well, then probably it can be uh, applied in different segments of real estate right. where end of the day, uh, efficient use of the properties and the resources yeah. would happen. Yes. Thank you so much, Pradeep. Well, uh, that's all that we have time for today. If you would like to know more about the Home Exchange Initiative, you could read about it on housing.com news. Uh, thank you once again for tuning in. Do keep track of us on Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.